Hi, this is Blake Weeder with Cutis of Davenport, and welcome to the Cutis Car Combo. Today we're with Miss Iowa, Alyssa, and the brand new beautiful Nissan Aria. You good? Yeah. All right, cool. Yay. Perfect. So this is your first time in an electric car, huh? It is. I mean, I've heard of Teslas before. Yeah. But uh, I might have to get an electric Nissan now. We can probably arrange that <laughs> for you. When did you like start um, in pageants and all that fun stuff? I started when I was 10. Okay. Which did not really please my parents at first. <laughs> so I saw my cousin compete in a local when I was okay. 10 years old and I loved singing. That was always my favorite thing to do. Okay. And I begged my mom to let me do it just so I could sing for people. And she said no, because she didn't want me to turn into a girl from Toddlers and Tiaras. Do you remember that show? <laughs> I do remember that show. She was like, you don't even like getting your hair done. You don't like your makeup done. You don't even like wearing shoes. You're going to hate it. You're going to turn into this vain, snotty 10-year-old. And I basically <laughs> wore her down enough to the point where she said, fine, you'll do one, you'll lose, you'll get it out of your system. And then I won on my first try. <laughs> and 14 years later, here I am as Miss Iowa. It got you sucked in, huh? Just a little bit, yeah. The pageant bug bit me. <laughs> so, when did you uh, become Miss Iowa? June 10th was the official day, and that was actually okay. in Davenport. So I was found oh. at the Adler Theater, nice. which was really nice. A lot of hometown support, which was great, since I grew up here, graduated mm -hmm. from Bettendorf, and okay. loved getting to represent the Quad Cities. Perfect, perfect. And what do you think is one of the best things about the Quad Cities? Oh, goodness. Well, the Iowa side is definitely superior, I have to say. <laughs> I would agree. I just love the opportunities that there are between the Iowa and Illinois side because you have so many communities coming together. Sure. And I feel like that's something you don't get everywhere is that community aspect. And I also love that there's such a support for the arts here. So mm -hmm. as a music teacher, that's something I really appreciate and value. And I love that you know there's a Davenport Arts Academy and so many opportunities, especially for music, which yeah. is my my main love so I really love that about the Quad Cities. Nice perfect mm -hmm. and then uh, when is the big pageant when's that's happening? Oh, Miss America is January 6th through the 14th in Orlando Florida at the Walt Disney Theater so I'm going to Disney World. Oh, nice. And my parents are so excited my mom is a huge Disney adult so she's <laughs> very excited to go to Disney World but I'm just excited to have the opportunity of a lifetime and represent our state because mm. I'm the 85th Miss Iowa. So that means only mm. 85 women get to wow. do this so far. So it's just a huge honor and blessing to even go in the first place. Yeah. So where are we driving to anywhere in particular? I'm just driving in a just circle. Just driving. Just Love driving it. in a circle. Yeah, nowhere in particular. Tour of Davenport. Yeah. Do you have any questions about the car itself or? I do. So you said there were charging stations mm -hmm. at the dealership. Yep. Where else are there charging stations? I guess I never looked at sure. them because I've never driven an electric no, car. No, no, you're fine. It, throughout the Quad Cities, there's a bunch of charging stations around. Um, pretty much all of the Quick Stars have um, charging stations mm. around here. Uh, plus, a lot of the high V's do as well. Mm. Um, and they have uh, the fast chargers there, so they'll charge this car in like 30 minutes, full charge from oh, wow. pretty much zero all the way up. So it's kind of slick how that all works, but yeah. The electric cars are pretty nice. They're a wave of the future. If you've never driven one before, I have not. We can we can change that because it's definitely an experience. Okay. It's nice and roomy in here too. It's beautiful. Tons of room. It's super quiet. Yes. Yeah, because I guess you don't have the engine really right? really loud. How long does the battery last? When it's fully charged so when the battery is fully charged it will last roughly right around 330 miles on this aria here um so that's perfect driving conditions nice mm -hmm. weather 60 mile an hour that sort of stuff um i drive one and i'm getting right around 290 to 300 miles wow. but i drive like a nascar driver so <laughs> it's definitely not the recommended use for driving. Okay. So when it comes, you said you graduated from Bettendorf, right? Yes. Okay. Now, when it comes to, to you're super passionate about uh, diabetes research and all that. Mm -hmm. um, can you kind of uh, go into how that started and, and why? 
Yes. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 11 years old. It was actually my very first week of middle school at Bettendorf Middle School, sixth grade on a Monday. And my life just totally changed. I grew up seeing my dad live with it and mm -hmm. that was one aspect, but living with it yourself is radically different. Right. And especially in those formative years in middle school, it was so challenging. Unfortunately, I was bullied for it. I had teachers who didn't necessarily meet the required accommodations or support me as I was struggling. And I was the only person in my graduating class of nearly 400 people to have diabetes. Mm -hmm. So I was super lonely, had so many people who didn't understand or even try to understand what I was going through. So I decided that I didn't want other people to feel how powerless I felt and basically since the day I was diagnosed I started working on advocacy efforts I've now lobbied with federal and state legislators worked with various organizations even internationally I've traveled internationally for this work and I also implement curriculum into schools to ensure that students are not only inclusive and kind to those with diabetes but that people with diabetes ultimately feel represented and seen which is what I needed when I was younger Okay, very cool. Mm -hmm. I guess we could talk about the Murano. That yeah, I you like that Murano? Oh, I love it. What do you like I, about that car? Everything. everything. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, for reference, I was driving a used 2007 Corolla. So okay. it, I, the trade-in, it was like, no matter what I got, it was going to be so, so much newer and better. But the fact that I feel so much safer in the Murano with how big it is, I'm able to pack outfits that I need or anything I might need for an event and a sound system when I'm performing. It's so spacious, which I love. And also, we were talking about the heated steering wheel. I can never go back. <laughs> it is so nice, especially as it's starting to get colder. There yeah. was one day, I think I was up at 4 a.m., so it was still really cold. I turned on the heated steering wheel and immediately I was like, oh, I can do the drive. It's totally <laughs> fine. I'll be just fine. And yeah. my passengers love that there's heated seats in the front and, and the back. back. Yep. They love that. Murano's just a great car in general, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and the heated steering wheel is one of those things that once you have it, you'll never... I can never go without yeah, it now. Yeah, correct. My mom just purchased a Rogue mm -hmm. from Kunis Nissan. And that's the one thing she was like, oh, I'm jealous you have the heated steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes she's like, oh, I just wish I could have that instead. But she loves her Rogue. She does good, the road. Good. It's also a beautiful red. So I decided I wanted to name it after something Iowa related. Sure. Because of Miss Iowa. And because it's red, we named it Rosie after the wild rose. Oh. So Rosie and I are traveling together for the next couple weeks. Very and I have nice. a blast. She's getting me around all over the state. So when you go all over the state, you go to like every county then? That's my goal, to hit all 99 counties. I have so far, I want to say it's 47 I've completed. Okay. So I've hit roughly every corner of the state and I'm nice. I'm working on finishing those out the rest of my tenure. And uh, how long is your tenure? A full year from June 10th to June 10th or? Roughly, yes. So from June until June. So I still have about seven months to go to finish okay. those counties. So I'm hoping I'll be able to, to get them all done. that, yes. Yeah, well, we're back. They can't even hear us coming. <laughs> <laughs> it is so quiet, it's kind of creepy. I know, it, it it's it's a little bizarre at first. The hard thing with this car is knowing when it's on, because mm. you have no clue. I'm sure. Other than the beeps when it turns on. What year is this car? This is a 2023. Okay, so new. Yeah, brand new Nissan Aria. Wow. I also love on the Murano and in this car, the uh, car play mm -hmm. is so nice. It is so much easier to navigate, especially since I have an iPhone. The Apple CarPlay is something I also won't be able to live without anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's super slick. In does the Murano you're driving, does that have uh, the wireless CarPlay in it? It does. Okay. That's also very nice. It's super nice because then you don't ever have to plug your phone in. Yeah. it's. Everything I could have asked for more in a car. Well, good. All right. Is that it? That's it. Oh my gosh. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.